let's see about the types of power converter there are two types of electric power namely ac and dc so this alternating current is defined by its magnitude phase and frequency and this direct current is represented by magnitude only as frequency is zero so this plug point will give you ac current whereas this battery will give you dc current so ac can be converted into dc and dc can be again converted into ac so this is possible so the best example for this is home inverter where this ac when uh, ac supply is available you will charge the battery so ac to dc conversion will take place again when power fails battery supplies the load connected here so dc to ac conversion there are four types of power converter namely the ac ac converter or ac voltage regulator where the magnitude of the ac signal is changed so this has been used mainly in uh, fan regulators the next one is ac dc converter um, it's also called as a rectifier which is used for charging the batteries the next one is dc ac converter which is also called inverter so you might have heard about inverter fed drives like if you want to control the speed of the induction motor you can use inverter fed induction motor so you can supply the um, motor through this inverter so that you can achieve speed control and next one is the dc dc converter where the magnitude of the dc voltage can be stepped up or stepped down depending upon the requirement so normally if it is stepped down it is called chopper applications of power converter the first one is a fan regulator so this regulator was used earlier it appears to be bulky as well as hot when the fan is in running condition so this is a circuit diagram of the fan uh, the fan is basically an induction motor which is connected to the supply through this regulator the regulator is nothing but a series of uh, resistors so if i want to run the um, fan at full speed i can connect it in phi so full voltage will appear across the fan uh, whereas if i want to run the uh, fan at a lower speed i will keep in position 2 3 or 4 um, and uh, so what happens a part of the voltage will get uh, dropped here and remaining voltage will appear across the fan so the speed reduces the problem with this method is uh, some of the uh, power will be dissipated here that is i square or losses will be there so it gets heated and uh, that's why a fan will get heated so the, in this method is said to be inefficient so nowadays we are not using this type of fan regulator instead we use electronic regulators so this is the electronic uh, fan regulator so in this case uh, a yeah, triac is used to control the speed of the motor so what happens is uh, this uh, control circuit will determine the um, conduction angle that is the firing angle of the triac so if the firing angle changes average voltage changes so thereby the speed of the motor changes so in this method what happens is um, it will not uh, the fan will not consume all, uh, there is no power dissipation it will not consume all the voltage it will take only the required voltage so this method is said to be efficient compared to the normal regulator so this is the circuit diagram of an ups so when there is a power supply uh, it will supply the load connected to it directly and uh, at the same time it charges the battery through this rectifier ac to dc converter or rectifier and when there is a power failure this battery supplies the load you through this inverter so inverter does um, convert 
DC to AC. So the next is an electric vehicle. So you can see here electric vehicles, the main source is the um, source of fuel is battery. So in some, uh, in some electric vehicles, you might have different sources also. So if you have battery alone, you need only one DC DC converter. So what is the purpose of this converter? So your battery may be at 12 volts and your DC link may be some 48 volts. So you want to uh, change this 12 to 48 means you need to use a step up converter. Again, uh, if this uh, super capacitor has already 24 volts and you want 48 volts here, use uh, another step up converter. Suppose this fuel cell is having 72 volts and you want only 48 volts, you use a step down converter and you bring um, all the voltage to the same level of 48 volts. So this is the purpose of DC-DC converter here. So you are combining uh, different voltage levels to same, uh, you are connecting the different voltage levels to the same bus through this DC-DC converter. Again, uh, this DC converter has to supply the uh, motor connected here. So for that you need an inverter. So this DC has to be converted to AC to drive this motor. So this is an inverter. So next application is the renewable energy system. It includes a solar and a wind energy system. So the output of a solar is um, DC. So this DC voltage has to be changed to a DC link voltage. So you need a DC DC converter here and the wind generator will give you AC output. So this AC has to be converted into DC using a rectifier. Again, this uh, DC has to be converted into the DC link voltage using a DC DC converter. So now you have got a DC link voltage. Suppose this is some 48 volts. You want to charge the battery of 12 volts. So again, you need a DC DC converter or charge controller. So 48 volts will be charging this battery of 12 volts. So using this DC DC converter. Then again, uh, this DC link uh, should produce a AC output with the help of this inverter. So these are all power electronic devices which are controlled by its gate circuit. So, so many power converters are involved in renewable energy system. So the points to remember here are there are four type of um, converters namely AC to AC converter, AC voltage regulator which uh, changes the magnitude of the AC signal, um, AC to DC converter which is mainly used for uh, rectifying applications or battery charging, then DC to AC converter is called an inverter and DC DC converter is called chopper. So if you like the video please do subscribe to our channel read electric vehicle thank you